Hello and welcome to a quick overview of installing and running the Onyx Runtime Gen AI Python package. Uh, it's a quick notebook getting you started from zero to your first inference output of a LLM. Starting out, we have uh, the installation process. Very simple, just installing a couple pit packages. Um, the only thing I'll direct your attention to is this suffix right here when we're installing the Onyx Runtime Gen AI library. Uh, what this suffix is doing is it's specifying the execution provider that's going to be packaged alongside Onyx Runtime. So when it comes time to inference our Onyx models, we're going to be using the DirectML execution provider like we talked about in the prior presentation. Uh, once we have the library installed, the next step is getting an Onyx model that we can use with the library. Uh, like we talked about, um, Onyx Runtime Gen AI is particularly for generative models that utilize a decoding loop. So not every single Onyx model out there is going to work with the library. Um, to get a compatible model, uh, the library contains a tool known as the Model Builder. Uh, you can execute it like this. And what this tool does is it will take in a hugging face model card name. In this case, I'm using Microsoft's Phi 3.5. You can provide an execution provider, in our case, DML or DirectML, a level of precision, in our case, INT4, that it will quantize the output Onyx Model 2, and some output location to put all of this. Uh, this cell takes a couple of minutes to run, so I've run it before recording this. Um, what the output is going to look like is a directory containing six files. Um, three of these files is tokenizer related. Uh, two is that core Onyx model that we talked about and the data alongside it. And a config file that is particular to Onyx Runtime Gen AI. Um, this file contains many things and I'm not going to go over uh, all of it in entirety. Um, but the basics is that it is comprised of two sections, um, model and search. Uh, model is automatically populated by the model builder using the hugging face card that we provided to it. It's not something that you really have to touch so much. Search is related to all of these knobs that you can turn with maximum length of the output, minimum length of the output, temperature, and uh, whether or not you're going to use beam search, etc. Uh, there's a lot of tweaking to do here, but I'm going to leave most of this as the default values. Uh, going back to the notebook, um, once we have a model that we can use and the library installed, the Python code for running our first inference looks very simple. What we're going to do is instantiate three objects like this, an Onyx Runtime Gen AI model, a tokenizer, and generator parameters. Uh, you can view um, generator parameters like that search section that we just looked at in the config file, where there is sampling values that you can use, um, certain algorithms that you can tweak. Um, and again, like I said, I'm leaving everything as the default, except I'm going to change the max length of our output to 1000 so that when I run this cell, it's not just going to explode with a huge amount of text. Um, I'm going to construct the prompt um, in such a way that aligns with the model card that I provided to the model builder. Um, Microsoft gives this guidance for uh, creating a prompt, so I'm going to follow it. I'm going to prompt the LLM that it is a helpful cooking assistant, and I'm going to ask it for a recipe that uses strawberries, milk, and whipped cream to make me something. I'm going to encode the prompt using the tokenizer and use the generate API. And what this is going to do is kick everything off with the generator parameters the prompt and the model, and it's going to generate all that output until it hits a terminating condition, and then it's going to spit out the output IDs. Uh, I'm going to run this now. Um, 
and this is running on my DirectML supported hardware, my NVIDIA GPU right now. And here's the output. Um, gives me a helpful recipe. We got ingredients, instructions, tips, everything I was looking for. Um, and that is how easy it is. Um, that's how installing, getting a model, inferencing the model, it, it all can be done in just a matter of minutes. Like I said, there's a lot more knobs that you can tweak, a lot more config values that you can play around with. And there's a lot more resources where you can uh, learn what's happening in the model on a, on a deeper level uh, and what's happening in the library. Feel free to investigate these resources um, and have fun developing with Onyx Runtime Gen AI.